Death? Death, why are you sitting here alone in the rain? Because she's not ready yet. An otter. Don't be scared. It's okay. Take your time. She wants to watch the rain a last time. I see. May I sit with you? Of course. Life, you remember that otters have a favorite rock? Yes. Why? The little one gave me her rock before we left. She was afraid it might get lost. I think... I think you should have it. Huh? It reminds me... of you. Reaper Dog, Reaper Cat, are you ready for your first official task? <laughs> All right. Today, you will each pick up one soul of your kind and bring them here. Good. I give you one hour and... Oh. Dogs. Cat? I'm chasing this butterfly right now. Yeah, but you just died. You're dead. I know. That means I have an eternity to chase butterflies. Hmm, what takes them so long? <coughs> ah, very well. But where is the cat? A long, long time ago, life and death decided to exchange roles in order to better understand each other's work. Life took her new role very seriously and gently guided each soul into the afterlife. But death never felt so alive. And while life tried to stay strong, I'm, I'm so sorry, but we, we gotta go. No, stop. Death wanted to create new life, something never seen before, a new stage of evolution. And there it was. Death? What is that again? It's, um, all right, but hear me out. It hunts via electricity, and it lays eggs, but still lactates somehow. And it has venom, too, with 80 different kinds of toxins, to be exact. And what is it? Perfect. Oh, and it glows in the dark. <sighs> Wait, what is that? What? This? Are you hiding a pup? No. You're supposed to take I them. I think we need to switch back now. Say, Life, are baby toucans your favorite creations? What? Of course not. I love all my creations equally. What makes you think that? I just... never mind. You seem worried, though. Well, one of my toucans... It might not make it. Let him go. But please, be careful with him. Of course. I failed him, didn't I? Life, have you ever held one? Held what? A soul. No, I don't think... Here. Oh, it's so cold. I know he just changed realms, but he'll be missed so terribly nonetheless. I know, but being missed so deeply is the price for being loved so much. Hey, puppy, come here. So cold. It's okay. Your soul remembers the cold, but it subsides in a moment. Here. So, what happened to you? I'm coming! Hold on! Gotcha! Oh, wow. Is he okay? Yeah, I think he's fine. Oh, good. Because we have to do it again. Last recording was too shaky. Sorry. Throw it back in. Now, I can finally go home to Mama. I'm coming! Hold on! The tale is old. The rules are clear. Gifts are hidden once a year. Oh, would they be more loving, more valuing and smart, 
they'd never be so reckless with someone's beating heart. Late night egg hunt, Mr. Reaper? More like a pet hunt. Oh, no. To die because of such a colorful holiday, only to end up in the gray beyond. Gray? But life, my realm is very colorful. The living just can't perceive these colors yet. Oh, okay. But as long as I don't know the colors of the afterlife, I'll give them some flowers and hope they won't forget the colors of the living. Hmm? Milo? Oh. I miss him. Oh no. A circus. Let's see who died here. Oh? They called me King of the Jungle, or King of the Beasts. But look at me. I've never felt like a king in my life. I was a tool for entertainment. They beat me, took my dignity. Instead of being free, hunting, they forced me to do silly tricks. My king. My good and gracious king. I mourn your fate, but please allow me to accompany you to your new realm. My noble king, I shall give you some souls to reign over. To... to reign over? Oh, wow. Hey, life. Hello, Mr. Death. Hmm, so I saw that right. It's like you have the universe in your eyes. Oh, <laughs> but yours, um, well, emptiness, absolute nothingness. <laughs> no, no, I'm merely a riddle that the living will never solve. Huh? Hey, little one, need some attention? What, you too? Oh, dear. Hmm? Well, hello, human. You seem a bit lost. Want to sit with us for a moment? You can pet a rabbit soul. It's good luck. Or are there any souls you'd like me to say hello to? Want to tell me about them? If the moon gives up rising, the sun stops it. Why does he always stare at the blank wall? There's nothing. No, for the last time, I can't take the neighbor's dog for no reason. This is exhausting. So many lives lost in these fires. There, there. Life? You're in a place like this? But of course. When having hope is most difficult, it is needed the most. One should assume that death has already seen everything. Well, I thought so too. A tragedy is a tragedy, and nothing less than that. And yet, look, life will find a way. His job must be so hard, thought life. She could only guess how many souls he must collect. Stay strong, dear friend. Her job must be so hard, thought death. She has to watch her creations struggle and fade. But both, they thought, you make my job worthwhile. <laughs>